<laughs> anyway, Vince, I'd like to um, introduce you to our fab friend Janet here. I mean, she's been with the Rangers from the very beginning, and one of the forerunners, forerunners <laughs> rather, of our uh, information service. Welcome, Janet, to the world. <laughs> and I think she's got some lots of questions and things down there. I mean, she's caught us right in the middle of uh, oh, she song writing. Doing the she is. <laughs> She is. <laughs> well, I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but anybody, everybody, this is what I'm always like. It's like, uh, screw the questions, <laughs> screw the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my oar in. Over to you, Jenna, anyway. Okay. Uh, a lot of people have asked, do you actually read your fan mail and do you enjoy reading it? We do. It's um, one thing, you know, uh, if, if we've been away or something, I mean, uh, you know, the first thing we do, well, not the first thing, but, <laughs> you know, it's nice, you know, the, you, there's a pile of letters on there, you know, and I just, like, get them all undone, and, uh, I mean, not every single one, but uh, I pick a group of letters up and read through them, you know. Mm -hmm. Loads of the fans still don't know what you look like because your pictures aren't on the record cover, thing, especially in America, so can you describe each other? Uh, well, we're both ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andy's about six foot. No. Five foot eleven. Oh. Six foot. Well, I was six foot with his heels on. Yeah, I was five eleven when I was fifteen or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I must be about six by now, yeah. isn't I? Yeah. He's got blonde hair, slightly curly, a muscular body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it anyway. Yeah. Well, I will be. <laughs> and always tired eyes because he never gets enough sleep. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well, Vince's uh, got very fair hair as well. Um, he's not shaven properly this morning, <laughs> but it suits him though. It's like when I don't shave, it looks like I spilt tea down my chin. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but Vince has got that sort of like designer stubble, you know. Um, perfect teeth. Um, <laughs> it's quite little, he is, but he's but he carries himself very well. Um, I know it's not describing his face very well, <laughs> but he's got little eyes, bushy eyebrows. Um, nice smile. Well, he smiles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, he he does smile. He he does smile. Which person has had the most influence on your life? Vince. <laughs> 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 no, I think my nan probably and my mum. Yeah, I think my family. Uh -huh. I mean, it's got to be in it because you know. Yeah. You're there for 16 years or whatever. Yeah, and they sort of like drum it into you when you. <laughs> you know, it's like the brainwasher from when you. Knee eye, you know. And um, what's the best piece of advice that you've ever been given? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what's been the most exciting moment in your life so far? Definitely the BPI Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was no, not being there. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think for me it was the first uh, getting the first record deal, you know, mm -hmm. ever. Like nine years ago. Mm -hmm. It was so exciting. I was so excited I was... I remember I, I was really careful crossing roads and stuff because I thought if I get run over now, it will spoil everything, you know. This is not the time to get run over, so I've got to be really careful. But that was a really brilliant time. Um, I think it's always it's always like it, the uh, first like hit single. You know? mm. I mean, it's never, no matter what you do afterwards, you can't sort of beat that sort of exhilaration feeling, you know. <clears throat> What's your all-time favourite Erasure song? Do you have one? And it changes all the time, I think, because you know you, you you listen to an album and then you don't listen to it for ages, and then you, know, you listen to it again. And you think, oh, that's quite good, you know, mm -hmm. and you remember something about it that you did at the time. But um, I don't know. I really, I quite like um, um, spiralling. I think mm -hmm. I'm 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 really into heavenly action and uh, and uh, pistol <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do them on the next tour. There's no promises there. New though. arrangements. <laughs> yeah. we, won't, we won't hold you to no. that. <laughs> and have you had a favourite gig you've done? Uh, mm, don't want to commit yourself. I think the, oh. one of the best gigs was the Marquee Club, the second time we played the Marquee Club in London. And there was like, oh. uh, it was quite crowded. And lots, just, lots of things went wrong, but it was really a good yeah, atmosphere. It was just the whole audience moving, wasn't it? Yeah. I, was I, 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 I loved the, um, playing the Mean Fiddler. That's really great, the first time. And also... Uh, 
I think, where was it when we, where we were playing? Was it Glasgow or the Apollo or something? Oh, last tour, the last tour? Yeah, it's where that punk put his little boy on the stage and this, they both got on stage. Oh, that was... Um, Loads of people got on stage. Yeah, it was Carlisle or something. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, in Scotland anyway. It was, <laughs> <Scottish> <laughs> gigs, yeah. it was fab though. And hello <laughs> to that person, <laughs> <laughs> if you remember. <laughs> OK, Andy. A lot of the German fans have been writing in, complimenting you on your accent and asking where you learnt German. Um, I learnt it at school, but, it, but it's like... I don't think that it's not much good at how they teach you at school, but mm. um, we, because we did an exchange visit, so I went to Germany anyway, and I went there about two times, and like we did lots of TV and things in Germany, so you just sort of like pick it up. And I think a part of like being a singer is being able to mimic people, and it, including accents as well. Yeah. Do you, you speak know. any other languages? I speak a little bit of French, but it's not very good. It's not half as good as my German, and uh, I'm going to try and learn Spanish. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Janet. Was it still rolling? It's been very interesting. Oh, it wasn't on record. It was. <laughs>